Hello everyone. Well, it's been a while. Yeah. We didn't realise how long a while it had been. It's sort of eight weeks since we've put up a video. Apologies. Yeah, hooray, shouts everybody. <laughs> We're back, boo. Um, yes, I think the last video we put up, we'd gone to Kings Lynn on the tidal section mm. of the River Great Ooze. And um, I think this video starts with us... Leaving le Kings Lynn. Leaving, yeah. <coughs> um, yeah, so... This is us leaving King's Lynn. Not normally up this early, just gone six o'clock in the morning. Um, we're due to leave on the tide this morning, it's rushing in. I think the um, lock keeper said we've got to leave at about 6.45. So because we're going through the middle levels, levels are very low, I want to bring the front end of the boat down which in turn will raise the back end of the boat so I'm going to fill the water tank and luckily we've got water points all along here and just show you how quick this tide's rushing in and the crazy thing is just beyond those trees there is West Lynn and that's where we lived four years ago that's where we was when we put the house up for sale and uh, moved on to Musumaya. Looking forward to riding the rapids? Yeah, look how fast he's going. Yeah, there's a uh, cruise, just cruiser just come past uh, at a fair rate of knots. I think the tide comes in at sort of six or seven knots, so uh, I might actually set a speed record for our narrowboat today. Um, the only problem um, I've got or my concern just move this round and um, there's a cruiser just in front of us um, current is gonna as soon as I loosen the ropes current is gonna take us straight to us so I want to make sure I can get the front end out enough to miss it but I've got a sneaky feeling as I try and get the front end out uh, the current's gonna push me back in so I'm gonna put the camera down because <laughs> uh, the last thing I want to do is smash that lady's cruiser to pieces time at Kings Lynn? Lovely, absolutely wonderful. Just want to thank all the family and friends that come to see us. Yeah, mean, means the world. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a strange one. A really mixed emotions, wasn't it? Um, you know me, I, I get emotional at anything, but yeah, now glad we've done it. I've just got a fly in my eye, brilliant. Yeah, glad we've done it. Um, it's next, one ticked off the list yeah, that we said we'd yeah. do. So. So next time we come through here, we'll probably be on a uh, Boston wash crossing. Yeah. Maybe next year. So with a pilot. Yes, with a pilot. Yeah. So uh, we left Kings Lynn and headed for Sorters Load. Um, mega on, fast on a very fast tide very very fast and oh it was awful I had to, uh, it well was... it wasn't it was it was fantastic the last 30 seconds which then turned into about a five minute terror ride um unfortunately wasn't filming otherwise i'd have had the best thumbnail the most yeah. fantastic wah, um it title for the scary. video um we was going into Salter's Load, and in, in that area you've got um, Salter's Load and Denver Sluice. We tried, let me just get a, a narrowboat, pointy end, bow end. So tide's coming along here. We tried to turn across to then get into Salter's Load, but the, the, the current hit us, smashed us into that bank. Um, so there was no way we was going to get into the lock entrance. So we, we plunged back into the current to then turn round. And the idea was we was going to go back down to Denver Sluice, only about 800 yards down, more up there on the lock landing. Till the water well, went slack. As we turned across the tide, 
when the tide hit the boat that way, the boat literally went at 45 degrees. Now, I was at the point um, of shouting jump. The dogs are clamped on the top. We've all got life vests on. All we could hear was crashing inside. Everything from the cupboards in this side, this of, the side boat of the boat came out. Now, luckily, that's all tin, Tins. tin food or and saucepans. saucepans and and that, yeah, so all very the lucky. Stuff off the side. Um, so it's it's then thrown us into the bank this side and we've then rowed up the bank the other side. Oh, absolute nightmare. Yeah. It, it didn't end there. We then headed down to uh, Denver Sluice to try and get on the, the lock landing there. And I think we'd done three 360s, just couldn't get there. The current was that, that strong. Um, mm. Luckily, there was a gentleman walking his dog. He run down onto the um, floating pontoon. And as I came in at a very jaunty angle, he jumped, grabbed the, um, well, he actually grabbed the line for the anchor and was pulling that. Bless Debs, you. Debs, one of Deb's crocs went in. Yeah, I lost a croc. That's now in Erif somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere on the, on the network. But he then managed to get the, uh, get the bow line and got us in. And I don't think without him we'd have done it. No, I don't think no, we we'd, have, we'd have been in deep water. Well, yeah. it was in deep water, yeah. fast it moving It was very water. scary. Um, and note to self is... Uh, just don't, yeah, don't had, even attempt salt as load. Not, don't try and, we couldn't have gone through the lock anyway. We wanted to get on the lock landing at salt as load. But my advice to anybody, if you're going at that same time, don't even attempt that with the current going that way. Yeah. Just get down to Denver Sluice there, wait for slack water, which we did was probably another 45 minutes to an hour. Wait, yeah. water became slack. We then went, cruised back to salt as load moored up on the lock landing there and then you just had to wait another hour for the water to drop so enough you could to go get into in. the lock. So just wish yeah. I'd have been filming stuff because that would have been glad some, he that would have been some dramatic footage. Yeah. yeah. Well there was a lot of swearing as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was been, petrified. Yeah, there'd have been a, a lot lot of beat. So after that little experience we're now debating whether we'd actually do the wash crossing. We're not debating it anymore. I'm not. If he's doing it, yeah, he's doing it on yeah. his own. I'm not. See, it, it makes me wonder whether the, the boat is correctly ball mm. ballasted, which I'm sure it is. It's probably as liverboards, the amount of stuff we accumulate, and they're back in the engine room here, there's a lot, we? Of, there's a lot of weight above the gunnels on one side. Now, I think that will con would mm. contribute to... Um, current hitting the boat that side making it go like that but when the current hit the boat that side it barely moved mm. so we've, we've got something to miss there yeah it's mark and his hoarding because <laughs> yeah. mark since, loves to hoard since had a clear out now that we're on on it's that, all outside. These, these moorings we've got two of the large um very large garden storage containers full yeah full um how it all, all went on the boat i do not know no neither do i no so that was that, and it was then getting back to the to the moorings, um, doing what we had to do there. Yeah, so we went through Salter's Load. Um, Just to get back to Fox's Marina. Tie up some loose ends, um, and then came back uh, to our new moorings at... Riverside Island Marina. Yeah. I always get it wrong. I call it Island Riverside Marina. Or Village I Marina. Call it River Island Marina. I haven't called it Top Shop Marina. Um <gasps> Always get it wrong, yeah. No other, other, clothes, other clothes stores are available. <laughs> still working on the Jason and Kylie look. We both lost a couple of pounds, but couple yeah, pounds, still, yeah. still a long way off from that. Yeah, and one little thing I forgot to mention on new, on new dinner set. Oh yeah. Um, we still use the. There are indoor mugs. We use the well deck mugs for outside, but um, yeah, we had plates, bowls. I think there's four colours. four different colours, large plates. Mandala, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, sh I shall stick a stick a link for them below if anybody's. <laughs> and in, they're awesome. They don't in, chip. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we've had them a while and they haven't chipped, so I'm really really pleased about that. No. Yeah, they're good. They're good quality. Yeah, our, our old ones, we're getting very serrated yeah, edges. Yeah. Yeah. So cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Um. Yeah, and the the other major thing I've done, I think I mentioned in a previous vid about the oh I, I tell you what rather than waffle on about it have a look at this 
Right, Friday the 28th of October. And I'm putting the date in now because there's no, with me, there's no telling um, when this video will actually go up. Big DIY day today. You should have all seen um, videos of our moorings, but if you haven't, I'll just give a quick recap. Um, we're now at uh, Village Island Marina at Island. We've got a garden mooring, um, but there's a lot of work needs doing on it, all the decking needs doing, and because of such uh, low water levels uh, throughout the year, and even even at winter, we can't get anywhere near the jetty. So our route out of the boat is a precarious plank. Which is not too bad. Uh, for me, but Deb, Deb struggles a bit. Alfie's already fell <laughs> fell in, uh, which was quite amusing. Not for him though. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm actually going to try and do right, today. Pointy finger ain't been out for a while. This this area here, I want to extend it out to where where the, where the boat is. So it's about coming out another another meter. But to do that, um, I've got to modify the higgledy piggledy affair that there is there remove all um, what is already here there's some scaffold poles already going all the way through I'm gonna raise those up um, slightly probably only about another six or seven inches drive in um, some new scaffold poles here brace all the way across drive another one in there brace that across um, new cross members coming across so we will have a large for the time being a large uh, decking area here those steps there I shall turn by 90 degrees so as we come onto the deck oh, look at that never know I could do that come onto the deck we'll then go up the steps and onto the other one eventually I'll put another another full step in there yeah as, as you know I'm back to work part-time during the winter while we're here at the moorings so I've been waiting for a, a two-day window midweek that we can actually do this we're not allowed to do um, any loud DIY work at this marina after 2 p.m. on a Saturday so after 2 p.m. on a Saturday all day Sunday I think it's there because it's mainly a residential um, retirement stroke marina so most of most of the people here uh, don't want all the loud noises the ones who come here for the boats at the weekend for a bit, bit peace and quiet don't want the loud noise i'm struggling with my breath today i've tested positive for covid deb's been positive for uh, two or three days so if i can make a hit on it today probably by tomorrow i won't be up won't be up to much Deb's now doing a, um, a shopping delivery uh, so we don't go into the supermarkets, spread everything about. Yeah, so Deb's uh, fairly rough at the moment, so she's not going to be able to help. That what isn't helping is the wind is blowing and pushing the boat into where I need to be building the new staging. So I've got to try and work some way of keeping the boat held out, held out of the way. I uh, bought myself some new power tools. I'll probably um, give a little bit of a run and commentary on those. I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and set the little GoPro, I say GoPro, generic action cam up and uh, see if I can get some footage if I fall in um, or any of my <laughs> bits and pieces of equipment fall in I should be able to capture it all on video. And today's power tool of choice is uh, Ferrex from Aldi's. Yeah, I treated myself to a new impact driver, new reciprocating saw, and a new um, disc cutter. Yeah, I didn't actually plan the proper way to do this. I think if I can drive some poles in um, with my big pole driver, I'll show you that in a minute, um, get those braced across before I start taking away the um, existing staging that is there. Um, I should at least have something to stand on. Yeah, I've got this. That weighs a ton. <laughs> Not really feeling up to this today. <clears throat> well, doing well. Lost one pair of glasses.
Right, that's got one pole in, that's at a jaunty angle, that's purely there to brace that pole um, so I can get a brace across to the other pole that I'm now going to bang in. Right, all the gear, no idea. Kind neighbour Andy lent me these so I can actually get in. Um, I found another long scaffold pole just laying in the water. Um, so I'm going to drag that out. Hopefully that's long enough to go across and brace where I need it to br brace. Quite weird going in the water with waders. I've never done it before. Well, all going to plan, not that there is a plan, <laughs> that's the first bit um, done. I can now get um, the side braces in, cross braces, start taking out the old uh, rotten cross members, put new long ones in, raise the back two scaffold bars up so they're all the same level. And then hopefully Deb's going to have something safe to get in and out of the boat. Um, that's my main worry if while I'm at work if Deb was to have a fall or one of the dogs I don't think she'd get the be able to physically get the dog out and or herself so it's been a bit of a priority it's been a juggling match slowly getting everything together the decking um, the trusses the scaffold poles and fittings power tools to do it but and like I said I've now got this two-day window and getting a little bit breathless but it's got to be done right I'm now going to have a brew Right, first bit of the board's off. Let me show you. There's Debbie, give us a COVID wave. Right, everything looks all unlevel at the moment because this was put at a funny angle. I've put the new staging in line with the existing. Got the first lot of boards off. Now you're gonna take these out, which supports this section here. And then once I've done that, yeah, once I've done that, there's a, a scaffold pole across there, one across there, I can then raise those up to the same level as the new one and get the new, new trusses in. Right, so far, well impressed with um, Aldi's Ferrex tools. Like I say, I've always bought Bosch or Makita, um, Milwaukee um, when I was at work full time. But just for a little DIY job, I didn't want anything uh, too expensive just in case I dropped it in. But I'm uh, performing well. Right, I'm balancing on a pole here at the moment, which is not ideal. Right, that's got that piece out. So there's. Uh, the one bit that I've got to raise up six inches, the one at the back come up six inches. I've got my angle grinder to grind the fittings off. Um, but all this holds this up, so um, I'm going to have to take all that out, leave these pieces down. When I put my new uh, trusses across, hopefully, I can get that sorted out then.
well it's half past five look at that, that looks nice and green um, running out of steam here and actually running out of light we've got a bit of, bit of decking that doesn't move and no more gangplank just let me show you where I've got it right these were the old steps that were here let's just step down everything is rock solid I've got the first one two three first four planks put down and I've just laid laid these other ones down here um, pop the those there as a temporary so we can get up and eventually um, I shall deck that into decking steps and that will all be filled filled in there so um, now very pleased with how today has gone seeing that I uh, didn't have any help not that people around here wouldn't help they would I've just picked a week weekday to do it and a day where I'm contagious so wouldn't have been able to have any help the the help I have had is uh, people like the neighbour Andy lending me the waders which have been invaluable I've spent half of my time today in the water other people have helped me um, collect scaffold bits and pieces which has made the job a lot cheaper the decking boards which come from daughter and son-in-law the oh, I'm getting out of breath the only thing I've had to buy is the 4x2 um, cross trusses uh, the decking screws which I think has been one of the most expensive mm -hmm. things oh there's a little wasp mm -hmm. now trying to get in the lens and um, my power tools today's casualties was my pair of glasses they, uh, they went into the drink after about five minutes and my angle grinder um, one of the scaffold brackets um, couldn't undo the the bolt I think they're a 12 mil bolt ground through that went to grind through the next one and bleh, it just cut out now a lot of these power tools have a thermal cutout so I let it cool down and now as soon as I just go to make contact with that cutting blade it just cuts out so that will be going um, back to Aldi's and hopefully it's just a faulty one it isn't sort of across the board with those products yeah so depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow as whether I do any more but if I don't at least um, me and Deb can get on and off the boat safely and no more uh, gang gangplank Yay. and I'm now going to get in the shower and try to kill this virus with uh, plenty of alcohol which should work let's just see the difference this has made oh look at that no more gangplank everything nice and solid yeah so that's all been in place for a few months so much easier um, and we've now got a nice little table and chairs sitting out there as well so that's nice apologies to the person in a vid a few vids back who actually complained about deb waving her fan about it is warm on the boat it is very and yeah. it's very warm today if i open the side hatch here which we normally do uh, it messes all the light levels out bleaches bleaches yeah. us out so. and if i use my this fan it makes too much noise, noise and interferes yeah. so the only way that i can keep myself from um, perspiring is you could have timed a hot flush for some some I know, different I, time. Well, I can't. I'm yeah. sorry. Right, okay. Yeah, it's it's it is what it is. So anyway, apologies mm. to to you. Yeah, so decking's been brilliant. Mm -hmm. I've now the now the weather's getting nicer. I can now concentrate, which I'll I shall film film doing on doing the rest of the, the decking jetty decking. Yeah, and I've got to rip all the old rotten decking up, which I've started to do. We've actually been burning it, mm. yeah, because yeah. coal. I can't believe how much coal we got through. Yeah. Although we haven't been frugal with it, we have had a warm boat. Yeah. Why we have a warm boat, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Deb could eat. Deb could eat a wide beam, yeah, just by sitting next to it. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think we've got through uh, forty-three bags of coal this winter and we've just ordered another 10 so be to off see us over the cold cold spot yeah it's a spell the last of the winter yeah. you know what i mean yeah yeah because we're now at the end of coming up to the end of march yes so yeah. um it's yeah so it, we should it should start to get better shouldn't it yeah, the weather yeah hopefully yeah soon be paddle boarding weather again soon mm. unless i get myself a wetsuit probably not a pretty sight me in a wetsuit 
No, no. jury's out on that one. <laughs> jury's out. I've, I've never actually worn a wetsuit. No, he's worn yeah. waders. He fir- looked quite yeah. sexy yeah, in waders. Yeah, the first time I'd worn warm waders. They, they took, <laughs> took a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> sweat. I was going to say sweat like a certain farmyard animal, but that might offend somebody. You, you sweat a lot Yeah. in, in the waders. Well, they're yeah. rubber, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah. Rubbery. Rubbery. <laughs> We're running on. Yeah, we're running, yeah, we're running, running on. on. Do apologise. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that's that's it for this little video. Yes, really. it is. I do hope you enjoyed it. Massive, massive thank you to everybody who takes yeah. the time to watch these videos. Yeah, thank you so all, much. All those who takes the time to click the like button or the dislike button. Everybody over on Patreon and PayPal. Yeah. Links for all that down below. Thank you so, so much for your yeah, continued support. Yeah, thank you so support. much. And we will see you all next time. You're not going to do the ring and the... Oh, it's been that long that I forgot I'd done the ring and the pointy thing. Right, yeah. So if you enjoyed this little video... Press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed... Press the subscribe button. If you want future notifications of any videos we upload... The bell icon. And keep the comments yeah, coming. Yeah, please keep your comments and we, coming. we do endeavour to answer all the comments. Yeah. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.